Considering current population trends, World Population Review projects St. Lucia's population to peak in the next 10 years and decline thereafter. Climate change, land degradation, and loss of biodiversity could cause high migration rates and steeper decline of the population. According to the 2016 St. Lucia Report of Living Conditions, two out of every five households are female-headed in the country. The report pointed to low-income, rural women-led households as those with the highest number of persons per dwelling, 4.8 compared to the national average of 3.1. If there were to be a group of people most affected by undesirable environmental scenarios of the future in St. Lucia, it would be this one. Most likely, they will not be in a position to migrate. This is where things become complicated. If people migrate, where will they go? Conservatively, with current dominant economic, social and environmental trends globally, in 20 years, most of the world will have food shortages. Homelessness will increase. There will be incidents of civil strife and collapse of social support systems. A mirror effect of this is that a small island like St. Lucia, with a small population, could thrive if adapted to enable sustainable ways of food production and land development. It could remain as one of the best places to live in the world. St. Lucia has set out a 10-year national adaptation plan. Implementation started in 2018. After a period of consultation with representatives from several ministries and public agencies to inform this feature, very limited measured evidence has been provided to show that adaptation actions across the different sectors are being implemented fast enough to protect the country's critical infrastructure, natural resources, communities, food security and livelihoods from the worst case scenarios of the future. Due to insufficient and unstable funding, institutional inefficiencies, limited implementation capacity, and to the very complex nature of climate change, adaptation has been addressed through a piecemeal approach and isolated projects. The reality is that St. Lucia lacks a coherent and integrated portfolio of ongoing projects at the physical level to implement adaptation measures in a holistic and organized manner within a 10-year time frame. A portfolio of strategic priorities has been generated for the country to address worst-case scenarios of the future. Action on these priorities need to be monitored, results measured, and outcomes reported in order to meet planned adaptation targets. An environmental information management system, as developed by the Department of Sustainable Development in St. Lucia, becomes central to this entire process. In the absence of timely projected and programmatic outcomes, the scenarios over the next 10 years will revolve around major delays in implementing the National Adaptation Plan. Beyond 10 years, crisis management would likely take up most of the government's time when it comes to providing water, food, healthcare, and disaster recovery for the population. Regarding environmental conditions, it is easy to dismiss the future worst-case scenarios that could happen in St. Lucia. This could result in or explain the lack of urgency towards prioritizing actions to adapt to a changing climate, stewardship of the land, and conservation of biodiversity. Common arguments are that some catastrophic projections of the past have never occurred, the projections are wrong, and the efforts or forecasts have little credibility. It is here where we should stop and ask ourselves, whether we want these projections of the future to happen in order for us to be convinced that they are correct. The positive step here is that St. Lucia has a national adaptation plan to improve scenarios of the future. Faster action is needed. The measured results from the implementation of the national adaptation plan should be used to update this film at the end of the next five years.